What's up guys, my name is Evan and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about tips for making intriguing photos part one and the specific technique we're going to be touching base on today is layering composition. So what is layering within photography? Layering is a composition technique that involves using foreground, midground, and background so that all the layers of the image can work together to help tell a comprehensive story. Visually speaking, the most intriguing photographs contain elements of layering. These elements allow your eye to be led through the image, bouncing from one object to another in a way that is visually compelling. Overall, there's a variety of compositional techniques and employing a mix of them will help you create a more interesting collection of images. So, why is layering important? Layering is important for many reasons when it comes to making intriguing photographs. The first being that layering helps balance out the rest of the composition within a photograph. Okay guys, so on the screen is an example of how layering can balance out your composition if done correctly. This photo was taken by me, as well as the rest of the photos that I will be providing for examples. So, if you take a look at the image, you can see that there is a foreground, a midground, and a background within the frame. The foreground being the door that frames the woman's subject, the midground would be the woman herself, then the background would be the dark door that the woman's subject is looking into. Therefore, the balance in this specific composition would come from the foreground and background since the midground includes the subject. Now, if that's confusing, imagine the composition without a foreground and background, so it's just the subject herself. The photo would then lack balance as well as depth that it once had with all three layers. Next, layering can help emphasize scale and size. Okay, so the next example is great for showing you guys how layering can be used to emphasize scale and size. As you can see, once again, there's a foreground, a midground, and a background. The foreground being the street, the midground being the house in the center, then the house in the back would be the background. So the emphasis on size and scale comes into play within the midground and background. This is so because both houses and person are the same size, but in the photograph, since the houses are spaced apart, it gives the effect that the house in the midground is larger than the one in the background, therefore giving emphasis to the size slash scale of the house in the midground. Layering is also important because it helps create a more dynamic image by adding elements that help your eye move more seamlessly throughout the image to your subject. Okay, so now that we discussed size, scale, and balance, let's talk about how adding elements within your frame can help the viewer's eye move from layer to layer more seamlessly. The foreground in this composition would be the steps, which then leads your eye to the glass enclosure, which would be the subject of the frame located in the midground. Then there, your eye naturally moves to the building in the background. Layering can help to show parallel movement between multiple subjects within a frame, usually to emphasize drama or depth. Okay, so by using this example, I wanna to explain to you how layering can help show parallel movement between multiple subjects in a frame. So in this photograph, the foreground would be the man on the bike. The midground would be the guy walking in the street and the background would be the leading bridge lights that lead into darkness. Both male subjects are parallel to each other from different sections of the frame, which then emphasizes the motion of the guy on the bike, almost giving the effect that he's coming out of the photograph. Lastly, layering helps emphasize separations within a frame through the use of striking colors. So again, color is a great way to create layer separation. In this photo specifically, you have the green from the grass and trees in the foreground, then you have the red from the brick building in the midground, then the blue from the sky in the background. Notice how there's a different color on each layer of the frame. These color separations make the layer separations within this composition very dramatic. And in the end, that's what we're trying to achieve. All right guys, so that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got something out of this, whether you're a beginner or an advanced photographer. Um, let me know what you think about the video in the comments below and hopefully make more videos in the future and I'll see you guys soon.
Peace.